Welcome to the Wisdom of the East, your gateway to explore ancient traditions and teachings that emanate from the East. Get ready for an enlightening journey where we unravel age-old secrets and wisdom that have shaped cultures and philosophies. Today we will meet Honoring Hironori Otsuka, the timeless legacy of Wado Ryu Karate. Hironori Otsuka was a Japanese karate master. Born on June 1, 1892 in Shimodate, Ibaraki, Japan, he passed away in Tokyo on January 29, 1982. Initiating his martial arts journey with jiu-jitsu, he attained the third dan in this discipline. After training under Master Gichin Funakoshi, Otsuka founded the Wadoryu style, blending the concepts of traditional samurai koryu, nag and katame waza techniques, more prominently into karate. Otsuka became the third martial artist to receive the 10th dan from the International Martial Arts Federation, joining the ranks of Kyuzo Mifune, Judo, and Hakudo Nakayama, Kendo. In recognition of his services and legacy, Otsuka received the prestigious Fifth Order of Merit from the Japanese government, known as the Order of the Rising Sun. Otsuka commenced jiu-jitsu training at the age of six under Master Tatsusaburo Nakayama. Graduating in the Shindo Yoshinryu jiu-jitsu style around 1905, the Yoshinryu style, created by Master Yoshitoki Akiyama in the 1530s, evolved through Matsuoka and Hirotusuka Totsuka, ultimately reaching Hironori Otsuka through the Master Disciple lineage. In 1917, Otsuka met Morihei Ueshiba, the creator of Aikido, and they became friends. At the age of 29, he became the master of the art and was chosen by Nakayama as his successor. In 1921, Otsuka received a Jujutsu master's degree and a year later became a student of Master Gishin Funakoshi. With dedication to training, Otsuka quickly rose to the rank of karate master. However, driven by his unique vision of martial arts evolution, he led to a split and the creation of a distinctive style. According to Otsuka, the curriculum, despite enhancing physical conditioning, lacked practical application in a real confrontation, prompting him to emphasize techniques like Tai Sabaki, Nage Waza, Ukemi Waza, and Ne Waza. Respected for his jujutsu expertise, Otsuka began practicing karate at the age of 30 in 1922 under the auspices of Master Gichin Funakoshi. In 1927, he introduced a medical paradigm for treating injuries resulting from martial arts training. Around 1928, Otsuka became Funakoshi's assistant instructor and had contact with other masters, Chokimotobu and Kenwa Mabuni, training in various karate and kabuto techniques. By 1929, Otsuka had composed a basic curriculum for the future style, a blend of his jujitsu style and the Shotokan Ryu variation taught by Master Funakoshi. Sequences of combined fighting, or Yakusoku Kumiti, were developed for technique training, evolving into free fighting, Ju Kumiti, and Shiai Kumiti, with the use of protective vests developed for Kendo training. Influenced by Aikido, the style adopted a name incorporating harmony, similar to Ueshiba's art, and embraced characteristics like minimal use of personal energy, low physical effort, and the use of evasions and opponent control. The methodology adopted by Master Otsuka distanced his martial style from both the softer jujitsu and the more linear and rigid karate. This factor also led to dissent with Master Funakoshi, who believed that constant kata repetition was sufficient for karate learning, and kumite practice was too risky. The philosophical disagreements regarding the direction of karate led to a rupture with Master Funakoshi, who granted Otsuka permission to create his own style around 1930. In 1934, the style was formally recognized as separate from Shotokan and registered with the Butoku Kai. Otsuka laid the foundations of Wado Ryu, considered the first truly Japanese style of karate due to its fewer foreign influences, especially from China compared to other styles. Hironori Otsuka Sensei's personalized style of karate was officially registered in 1938 after he was awarded the rank of Renshi Go. He presented a magnificent demonstration of Wado Karate 
for the Japan Martial Arts Federation. They were so impressed with his style and commitment that they acknowledged him as a high-ranking instructor. The next year, the Japan Martial Arts Federation asked all the different styles to register their names. Otsuka Sensei registered the name Wado Ryu. The next few years witnessed Wado Ryu Karate going from strength to strength. New dojos were opening and karate was being taught at universities. Otsuka Sensei himself was becoming a recognized figure within the world of martial arts. In 1944, Hironori Otsuka Sensei was appointed Japan's chief karate instructor. In 1945, Otsuka II began to receive expert tuition from his father in Wado Ryu Karate. From this point until the 1960s, Wado Ryu Karate remained on the three small islands of Japan. It was hardly recognized outside of the East. However, in 1963, a three-man team left Japan to demonstrate Wado Ryu Karate to America and Europe. The team was composed of Arakama Sensei, Takashima Sensei, and Sukuzi Sensei. The impressions they left wherever they went were tremendous, and Wado Ryu Karate soon became recognized worldwide. During this time, Hironori Otsuka Sensei continued to train and instruct Wado Ryu Karate in Japan. He was awarded the title Kun Goto Suokuo Kyoku Jujitsu Shuo in 1966 by the late Emperor Horohito. It was presented by the Emperor for his dedication to the introduction and teaching of karate. This dedication led to the further historic award of Meijin, or the first excellent martial artist in Karate 10th Dan in 1972. This was the first time that this award has been given to a practitioner of karate and was the same status as that of Kyuzo Mifune in Judo and Hakuko Nakayama in Kendo. Hironori Otsuka Sensei continued to teach and lead the world of Wado Ryu. Karate into the 1980s, Otsuka II became the second Grand Master of Wado Ryu in 1982, taking his father's name, Hironori. After the founder's death, the style split into three main organizations, Wado Ryu Renmei, Wado Kokusai, and Wado Kai, while the style itself remains essentially unchanged. The major innovations introduced to karate by Master Hironori Otsuka included evasion techniques, sabaki and nagashi, projection and finishing, common in jiu-jitsu, and guard movement, exchange, tenyi, tentai, and tengui. Another innovative principle introduced by the master was yakusoku kumite, combined fighting, a simulation technique allowing karate practitioners to train scenarios involving projection, evasion, immobilization, finishing, defense, attack, and counterattack. Even in his advanced age, Hironori Otsuka remained active and fully dedicated to spreading Wadoryu principles. The master focused a significant portion of his efforts on teaching the style at Japanese universities, such as Tokyo Nodai University and Tokyo Dental College. Hironori Otsuka passed away on January 29, 1982, at the age of 89, in Tokyo. Legacy. Hironori Otsuka left an enduring legacy in the world of martial arts, particularly in the realm of karate. As a highly respected Japanese karate master, Otsuka's contributions and innovations have significantly influenced the development of martial arts, leaving a lasting impact on practitioners worldwide. Here are some key aspects of Hironori Otsuka's legacy, founding Wado Ryu. Style, Otsuka's most notable contribution is the establishment of the Wado Ryu style of karate. This unique style incorporates elements of traditional samurai koryu, emphasizing techniques such as nage and katame waza. Wado Ryu stands out for its blending of jujitsu concepts within the framework of karate. Innovative techniques. Otsuka introduced several innovative techniques to karate, including sabaki, evasion techniques, nagashi, projection and finishing, and a focus on movement and guard exchanges. These additions, influenced by his jujitsu background, enrich the technical repertoire of karate practitioners. Yakusoku Kumite. Otsuka pioneered the concept of Yakusoku Kumite, 
a form of combined fighting that allows karatekas to simulate various scenarios involving projection, evasion, immobilization, finishing, defense, attack, and counterattack. This training method became a valuable tool for honing practical combat skills. Philosophical contribution. Otsuka's philosophy emphasized a harmonious approach to martial arts, evident in the name Wado Ryu, which includes the term harmony. This philosophy reflected elements of Aikido, emphasizing minimal energy use, low physical effort, and control over opponents. Organizational leadership. Otsuka played a crucial role in the organizational aspects of karate. He founded the Wadokai to consolidate guidelines and standardize Wadoryu techniques. His leadership, however, faced challenges, leading to the formation of multiple organizations after his departure. International recognition. Otsuka's dedication to spreading Wadoryu principles extended beyond Japan. His efforts to teach the style at universities contributed to its international recognition, and Wadoryu dojos can now be found around the world. Succession Challenges The challenges surrounding Otsuka's successorship and subsequent organizational divisions added a unique chapter to his legacy. The split into various Wadoryu organizations, including Wadoryu Renmei, Wado Kokusai, and Wadokai underscores the complexities of leadership transitions in martial arts, educational contribution. Otsuka's commitment to teaching at universities reflects his dedication to the educational aspect of martial arts. His influence in academic settings helped establish karate as a disciplined and respected pursuit. In conclusion, Hironori Otsuka's legacy extends beyond the physical techniques of Wadoryu karate. It encompasses a unique blend of traditional martial arts, innovative concepts, and a philosophy of harmony, leaving an indelible mark on the evolution of karate and inspiring generations of practitioners worldwide. If you liked it, take a look at these videos that are in the cards at the end. Like, comment, share, and see you in the next.